Hello, my Virgo babies. This is going to be your reading for the week. Um, let's see, April 3rd, we'll say April 3rd through the next Monday, whatever that is. So, um, if you're coming over here from TikTok, the 10 minute uh, timestamp is down below. So that way you can get right to where you left off in your reading. If you are interested in purchasing a reading or looking at anything on my website, um, the link is in my bio in the link tree. Um, also, if you want to follow me on any other social media platform, all that information is there as well. All right, so just to go ahead and get this started. I picked two crystals for earth signs and so far I'm kind of feeling as if it's kind of like this across the board. I picked rose quartz and I also picked selenite. I picked the rose quartz because we are exercising a lot of self love for ourselves. Um, we are looking at our worth. We are looking at what it is that we want in our life. Um, we are disposing of what no longer serves us. I'm not saying that in a negative or a bad way. It's like, um, you just know what's for you and what isn't. And the selenite is cleaning everything out. It's giving you a clean slate. You're getting a clean slate. There are things that you've had to release. There are things that you are truly looking at to see um, how you want things to be applied in your own life. And we're going to pull some tarot cards as well as some oracle cards to kind of clarify the tarot cards. So we'll go ahead and get started. Go ahead and do this. All right, Spirit. What does my Virgo babies need to know about their journey? I'm sorry for the camera movement. What is going on with Virgo, Spirit? Sorry. I'm going to take all these. Okay. So the bottom deck energy we have is the high priestess. You are trying to see what is going to happen. I'm going to put, put the... Well, I'm just going to go through them like I usually do. Just bear with me here. There's enough room. I just didn't realize that there is. So, the bottom deck energy we have here is the High Priestess. So, the High Priestess is talking to their higher selves and trying to make a move of what needs to be done without any judgment. It's like, I don't want to judge anything. I don't want to, if it's not for me, it's just not for me. It doesn't mean that I think anything bad of it. It's just that if it's not for me, it's not for me. And I feel like that you're using your intuition as to what kind of treatment you're allowing in your life or what you have allowed in your life. If it's not for you, it's just not for you. I, at this point, I think you're done asking people to change. And either they're going to or they're not. And I think that you have let go of outcomes. So now you stopped focusing on what other people are doing. And you're focusing more inward as to what am I allowing? And does it line up for me? They don't have to change. And that's fine. But there's a sense of detachment of... 
outcome to what other people are doing. We have the three of wands of you being patient. You're being extremely patient. And you're waiting to see what's going to come to you. And this could go along with what I was saying about you may not have been patient in the past. But now there's a sense of you just being patient, watching and learning and trying to see. We have the two of pinnacles of you could be trying to balance something out with another person. And the ball might be in their court to balance out their self. Um, I feel like you are already putting the work in by being patient. You're using your intuition. We have the star card present of you getting your wish fulfillments and you're focused on healing. And that's what your focus is. But that doesn't mean that that's what everybody's focus is. And that's what you're what you are looking at it's like i can i can love you but if you're not on the same healing journey and you want to keep doing the same shit over and over again i'm gonna have to leave you on your merry-go-round i feel like with the eight of wands in reverse you have slowed down a lot of your communication where you're like okay i've already told you once <laughs> i don't want to tell you again I don't want to have to go through the same bullshit over and over and over again. It's like I already told you once. And and here's the thing about Virgos. You're going to give some warning shots. Before you do something, you're going to give warnings. Okay, I don't like that. And then the next time, okay, I told you I didn't like that. So now... I'm going to pull back a little bit. Okay, I told you I didn't like that. And I told you I, I am pulling back a little bit. So now I'm going to disconnect. That's how Virgos do it. And if they don't fucking pay attention, by the time they get to like the eighth warning, you're totally disconnected and they wonder why. And I feel like that there's something that you're trying to balance out and you're trying to be patient to see if it's going to balance out or if it's going to work out. But it's like, I'm done talking to you about this. I am so done talking to you about this. We do have the page of swords. I feel like that there could be somebody who's like really observing you. There could be somebody looking at you on the internet. But I feel like that there is a person who is really observing you. But this could also mean with the Page of Swords that you are observing other things. Like you could be observing, if this doesn't work out, what are my other options? We have the Seven of Cups. You're being offered other options or spirit, the universe, God, whoever it is that you re relate to. They are showing you that this is not the only place that you can be successful at. So if this does not work out, there's something else waiting for you. And I feel like that you you do see that you're going to have other options if if something comes to an end. It doesn't mean that that's necessarily what you want, but you may be pushed in that direction. If you have a person who continuously lies or continuously goes through the same cycle over and over and over again, they're not focused, they're sporadic, or they're not consistent, they are forcing you to look at your other options. Who wants to go through that? So I feel like even though you may not want to leave a certain situation you're being shown your options anyway to let you know if this doesn't work out we got you signed the universe I feel like that you've been putting the work in so you've been putting the work into yourself you've been put, putting the work into your world and you're going to be rewarded for that. And you're not going to be rewarded with another karmic bullshit relationship or anything else you have going on. 
but you have to be open and you have to be ready to receive what the universe is bringing you. We have the Ace of Pentacles. There's going to be a brand new start. Now, it could be with the per this person or it could be with a new option. I feel like Spirit is letting you know with the Seven of Cups that no matter what, you're going to have a very solid new beginning. Now, who you're having the solid new beginning with is going to be up to the person that wants the position. I feel like that you're manifesting energies to you. So you could be letting go of the outcome of who these energies belong to. That's how manifestation works. You manifest an energy to you. If it comes to you, you have to be ready for it. And not only do you have to be ready for it, you have to be prepared to maintain it. And you are ready. So we do have the Ace of Pentacles here of... You starting a very solid new beginning, very prosperous, very abundant, very secure at home. This could be a new home. This could be a new job. This could be a windfall of money. This could be, you know, everlasting love. Family. But no matter what. Your options are going to have this new beginning. So I feel like this is the universe telling you, make sure that you are trusting the process, but you cannot throw down or, you know, push aside anything that's been given to you. If you stay in a karmic cycle, then that's exactly where you're going to stay. And it's going to loop over and over and over again until you let it go and you can start your new beginning. If a person isn't evolving with you and wanting to start a new beginning with you, then somebody else is going to come in new. And that's for those of you who are currently in a situation with somebody who doesn't want to change. If you're in a situation with somebody who doesn't want to change, as soon as you let that go and you move on, you're going to have a new beginning with your Queen of Cups and the Star card. So, if it is this person, this person, if you are with somebody, there's a possibility that they're going to evolve with you and they will become a new person, which will bring in the new beginning with the solidarity, the whole shebang. So that's going to be for some of you. For others who are not in a relationship, you could be ascending to the next level. You're single as a Pringle. You could be saying, fuck everything. I'm going to have a new beginning by myself. And the Queen of Cups is a bunch of self-love. Now, I think that you're doing this anyway. But the Queen of Cups is loaded with self-love. But she's also very nurturing. She's very giving. She's very family-oriented. The Star card is about healing. And you are getting your wish fulfillment. It's about your manifestations coming true. But you healing enough and going forward so you can give out to the world what it is that you have learned. We also have the Nine of Cups of you emotionally looking out for yourself. The Nine of Cups is somebody who wants more. And they're willing to work for it. We also have the King of Wands. And the Six of Pentacles, Reciprocation. And we have the Six of Swords moving on to calmer waters and growing with the Empress. So I do feel like that 
you know, you could be connecting with somebody who is very creative, very innovative. They could also be going through a new awakening to where they are wanting to be this person for you. And they realize that if they're that person for you, they know what you have to offer them. This is a beautiful reading. You're going to have something so beautiful. You're willing to fight for it. But you have to make sure, Virgo, that this other energy is willing to fight for you. They have to also, whatever it is that's unbalanced, they have to put the work in as well. I feel like your intuition is telling you that it's this person. Could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. They want to give you reciprocation. They want the arguing to stop. They want the calmer waters. They know that you're a very fam family-oriented person and that you want to grow and go towards the future. And they also know how diligently loyal you are, how you would be willing to fight for the connection. They know. With the Five of Pentacles, I feel like that they could be feeling as if, what if I'm not good enough? What if I'm underqualified? What if, what if, what if, what if? And this is what, this is what sabotages them. The Five of Cups with the Five of Pentacles, they stay stuck. But they really want this Ten of Cups with you. They want to have the dreams come true. They just don't, they've just never had it before or they're afraid of getting it. They don't have, they don't have the confidence that they normally would have. There's something about this that they are fearing and they keep it to themselves. They don't tell you, they don't talk about it. They've had a lot of loss in their life, but they're not looking at what they're gaining by being with you. They know what they could be gaining, but they're fearful of, of the gain. And I'm not really sure why only they would know that. But there's a sense of them feeling like they're alone in this. So this seven of wands could also be them fighting the connection. So it's like they know with the Ten of Cups, they do want everything. And they are working on themselves with the Nine of Pentacles. They're trying to take it slow, trying to do their research. They do want more with you. They could be working on their money. They could be working on the security. They want to be able to provide a home for you. We have the Seven of Swords and we have the Two of Cups. So... This person may have had secrets or they could have secrets. They could be having a heart to heart with you. They could be revealing these secrets or the seven of swords. It's a deceiving energy. So they could be lying to themselves about the situation or they could be lying to you or they could just be keeping everything so under wraps that they're not communicating to you. So it can come across as them keeping something from you. I don't feel like this person is used to expressing themselves or they're fearful of expressing themselves. So it can come from a place of deception, but I do feel like that they are going to have a heart to heart talk with you. And it could be a bit chaotic and it could be a little argumentative, but there is a sense of Wanting to train and do better. The five of, of wands can mean arguments or it can mean inner chaos. And I feel like this person could be carrying that. But the five of wands is also about training yourself to do something better. And I feel like that this person could be doing that. We have the death card. 
to where it's like the old self needs to die in order for the new self to emerge. And I feel like that they are working on that. And with the temperance card being here, they want peace. They want harmony. They want balance. Dream space card. This is their dream. This is a total dream for them. You're like a dream come true for them, Virgo. But they get entirely in their heads about it. And their biggest competition is their mind. Their biggest downfall is their mind. So you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Leo, Aries... You could also be dealing with the Scorpio. You could also be dealing with the Cancer or a Pisces. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. So we're going to pull some Oracle messages for a little bit of clarification and for some advice. All right, Spirit, what advice do you have for my Virgo babies? take all these because well why not we have water creator here remember I told you that you could be dealing with the water sign Scorpio Pisces cancers it's a possibility all right so we do have bliss is worth creating from you notice how it said from for and then it goes back to from this is letting you know that bliss is worth creating from yourself like it, it's better to come from you than to do it for someone else i feel like that this is all about the whole self you know like it's better to create from yourself for yourself so it's focusing on yourself and your own world that you're trying to create. We have light in the unexpected. Um, this tells me that you should expect the unexpected. <laughs> and the reason why I say that is because for some of you, you're in a relationship with somebody already where they are at a crossroads and they haven't yet decided whether they want to be with you or not. I feel like that you probably put the hammer down and said, look, this is it. I'm not taking any more shit. I'm not taking any more mistreatment. Now, for some of you, you walked away from this situation entirely and you're going to have a new beginning. But for those who are still in a relationship and you're trying to give them room to prove to you what they are. You may feel as if they're not going to choose you. And if they do choose you, it's going to be extremely unexpected. The flip side of it is, let's say they don't choose you, right? What you're not going to expect is that the universe has got your back. So if a person quote unquote discards you, which really they're not discarding you, they're cutting themselves off from like the best connection they could ever fucking have. But let's say they go ahead and ignore all that and they move on. 
the unexpected that's going to come is that the universe has your back with what you do deserve. And we have creator water. So this tells me that you could, you know, either end up with the water sign, like what the other cards were suggesting that could be possibly your new beginning. Um, but it also says to be in touch with your feelings. Be in touch with your emotions. Check, check in with yourself. How do I feel about this? And don't shy away from it either. If you don't feel good about something, let it be known. I don't feel good about that. You don't have to, you can be in any kind of dynamic and not have the same opinion as somebody else. Be true to yourself. Be true to your emotions. Be true to your feelings and speak them. You don't have to agree with everything and everybody in order to be accepted. And for those who think that that's how it goes, they can kiss your ass and keep it moving. Cozy up with risk. That goes right along with light and the unexpected. I feel like that you are taking a risk, you know, like you're doing stuff that you normally wouldn't do. You're putting waves in the water and you're doing it very calm, but you're being very honest and you're being very in touch with who you are and what it is of what you want. We have celebrate your wins. This is what you need to do. You know, like be grateful. You, you may lose some stuff right now, but it's not anything that is aligning with you. It's not anything that is going to be for your greater good. You could be losing lying manipulating people and this is for you to celebrate your wins of I'm not going to focus on the losses I'm going to look at the plus of what I am gaining from this quote unquote loss it will open up a whole new door, a whole new set of doors for you. Some of you have a person who is evolving and they're going to come back as a new person. But some of you have a person who is going to choose not to evolve. And the universe is going to have your back. Some of you are going to say, fuck it all together. I'm going to stay single. And the universe is still rewarding you with loads and loads and loads of self-love. Dignity and strength. We have collaboration of souls. There's going to be a deep connection happening. And it's going to be one that you have never known before. And you're going to know what to do. When it presents itself. And you're holding out for it. That's what you're holding out for. You're not a pushover. You're not a simp. You're not anything like that. And you're letting that shit be known. So that's what I have for you for this week, Virgo. I am sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. If you like your video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you resonate. I want you to have a great week. Subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done it already, do it right now. All right. I'm sending you a bunch of love. You got this. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.